Cities of the suburbs have become the breeding ground for younger and fast evolving subcultures. So now you're really going to get to know a city, you need to get under its skin and also expose yourself to the subcultures, which is why I'm hanging out with Jared. Yo. And Jared is a rural primary school teacher by day, but he's also a post punk punk by night. And he is about to introduce me to the KL chapters of longboarding. into the younger side of KL. Jared wanted me to meet this group that call themselves the Free Riders. These guys are longboarders and they spend all their free time out in the suburbs of the city looking for roads that are both lonely and hilly enough for some stunts. The Free Riders are apparently one of the first groups of young Malays who are into this sport, one that's becoming pretty big in this part of the world. So, so this is Xiaomi. Hi, Xiaomi. Hi. This, this is the guy. What a cool spot, you're like in the middle of the yeah. forest. Yeah, this is the safest spot that we can manage to find in KL. No cars, no, no traffic, and I'm here for ourselves. Quite obviously, being a TV host compelled me to try my hand, or legs as it were, on the whole board. I wasn't brimming with confidence. So what happens? How do you move? Oh, so you move really quite easily, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. Guys, don't laugh at me when I fall down, okay? <laughs> Thank heaven I didn't fall, but I did realize that it would take a lot more than one evening's training to make a pro out of me, so I left the skills to the free riders. And what skills? These guys can reach a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour, and obviously falling at that speed can be skin. But I noticed you never got on the longboard. You, you check out the, the sort of gear they have. 